In the section of our uh, second week of the Designing Emergency Shelters course, we'll look at alternative ways to build uh, shelters. We'll look at shelters that are built by the local community, shelters that are built with local materials that have been recuperated after the disaster. This is a very different approach from the ones that the UNHCR and USAID and other NGOs have been using. And there are reasons for it to be better and there are reasons for it to be more difficult. In the case of prefabricated shelters, as the ones that we saw in our previous uh, section, you saw uh, shelters that are shipped to the site. They're built in a very short period of time, uh, sometimes in most of the cases in less than a day, and people are, are ready to go inside immediately. In the cases of shelters that are built with local natural materials, it takes much longer to rebuild and it takes much longer to construct these uh, uh, temporary transitional shelters. The big advantage of using local materials and local workforce and getting people involved is that it creates a sense of community. So people identify themselves with the home where they're living. They are building their home, which gives them a certain sense of pride. They are able to design it and build it to, for their own family. So later when they live in it, even if it's smaller than the original house, they have uh, some a sense of pride and ownership and, and feel uh, a little more connected to their community in these homes. The other advantage is that uh, many times refugees don't have work in their camps. So uh, if they participate in the construction of these shelters, they immediately have uh, a job, they immediately are busy and they're immediately uh, again part of this community and they're collaborating with the community into the rebuilding process. This is why I invite you to look at uh, these precedents who we'll, uh, have successful uh, cases, uh, for example in the Philippines, where people are using the coconut trees that have been uh, uh, destroyed during Typhoon Haiyan and right now they're cutting them and using them for their reconstruction. We have other examples in Malaysia, for example, where uh, people are building out of bamboo. That's a material that is widely available and that grows very quickly. So it's very accessible and it's relatively cheap. Um, local force is abundant and uh, is a good, it is a good idea to get them involved in the projects. So I invite you to decide which approach you want to take, either the one of the prefabricated shelter that's built somewhere in a factory, shipped on the site and constructed, or the one that is using local materials, local techniques, and is building with the help of the local community. Both ways are possible, and we'll discuss in our course which uh, route you want to take, you and your team.